AI tools are revolutionizing coding, speeding up development like never before. But in an enterprise, it can get chaotic. Scattered data, logic, and actions all over the place. Palantir's forward deployed engineers, or FDEs, tackle this heads on, solving real world operational problems with customers. The concept of an AI FDE merges these two worlds. AI speed with an FDE's operational focus. The ontology, it's the digital twin of your business process. So it's the SDK of your business. In AI coding tools plus OSDK, it's vibe coding with your enterprise on Rails. It's not about replacing FDEs, it amplifies them, making solutions cleaner, faster, more effective, reducing the time to value. All right, let's go take a look at an example. All right, just to show a little bit of context here about what's going on, we've got VS Code hosted inside of our code workspaces as part of Foundry and AIP. And you can see here on the right, this is just kind of tongue in cheek about what we see most people kind of showing on social media is a ball bouncing around a box or a hexagon to show how great these LMs and coding assistants are. But in reality, we wanna build something that's real and adds value. So that's where these tools plus the ontology SDK really start to power some cool stuff. All right, so first of all, we're gonna use our continue plugin that we have here, and we're gonna switch over to O3 Mini, and we're gonna have a prompt. So this is built on that ontology SDK around satellite tasking. We're gonna hit run here, and we'll close this so you can see a little bit better. All right, so as this is running, I wanna show a few other things. You can see the ontology SDK here, and this is plugged in right into the platform, so now, I have this context, all the rich documentation, everything we have there available to my continue plugin. So it now has that context about how my business is operating. We also then even have internal web hosting here. So as I build this application, I can publish it out through my change management process for my internal internal users or even external if I want. So as this is going through here, it looks like it generated a bunch of code and a good place for us to start. All right, so next prompt, we are gonna switch over to, let's see, Claude 3.7 Sonnet. And we're gonna to go to Agent, uh, so this will actually apply it. So we're gonna update our actual application uh, to implement the code above. All right, let's hit Enter. Let's see here. Okay, cool. So let's see what it did. Um, Earth visualization components, helper functions, data loading, UI components. Awesome, some modifications, this is great. All right, well, let's look at our preview here. And uh, let's actually just move this stuff over just a little bit. And we can see, very cool. So much better than a ball balancing around a block. Now we have our different locations mapped on top of a three-dimensional globe that we can maneuver around. This is pretty cool. But again, this is just a cool visualization. We're gonna to wanna to add more features and functionality to this, but this is a great first start. Okay, let's close this and we'll get back to work. So we played around with this a little bit. We've got a cool demo here, right? We've got earth loading around with distribution centers, but I wanna make it more useful. I wanna be able to click on these things and get information, start to do tasks, right? So. Let's prompt this, let's hit a new chat session here, and we're gonna say, unclick the plant or manufacturing facility, add details of the, van, uh, of the view panel with data from the ontology, update the current app. All right, so let's hit enter, and let's see what this does for us here. All right, so it looks like it came out with another cool plan. Let's see how that worked out. So let's, let's move this over a bit for us here, and let's take a look at the preview. Looks like I added a click on marker to view facilities. Oh, that's not working. Okay, so something's not right. Let's go back and see if we can help it. No details. All right, let's see if that can find the problem for us. Because in here it said it built out the facility so we can see OTIF, we can see all sorts of information about it. So something was missed here. All right, it looks like it finished, and so it looks like it fixed a few things and improved the styling. Let's take a look at the actual application now as it loads here. Uh, okay, so I should be able to click on Oh, ooh, look at this. This is great. The styling looks good. Utilization, uptime. All this that's stored straight in ontology. So if I've got my digital twin modeled here, this is how quickly, with about three or four prompts, I can have a working model of an application. All right, that's pretty slick. Okay, so we're gonna get on to the next section here. All right, so 
we have um, our current state application. We've got the globe with our manufacturing and distribution centers mapped on here. It's rotating around. This is great, but I want to be able to see details about this, which is stored in the ontology. So let's give it another prompt here of um, click on it. When I click on it, I want to see some details and get the data from the ontology. So let's see what this looks like, and we'll make this a little bit bigger for you. All right, looks like it's done. Gave us a good plan setup of what it did. And let's go take a look. So now uh, when I look at these plants and distribution centers, I should be able to click and get details. Oh, that's great. Okay, so I can see more information about each of them. Cool. All right, so that did the trick. All right, so I think next up is actually where I want to start to add in the satellite objects, right? So if we look over here on the left, on our ontology objects, uh, we actually have the satellite piece. I want to actually show those on the map as well to see how those are flowing compared to my different facilities. So let's start a new chat here and kick this off. All right, so I'm going to have a satellite object. And so we're actually going to um, show the valid orbits and paths. All right, let's try it out. All right, it looks like it completed there. And uh, let's take a look at the application, see if it did what we were looking for. So I want to be able to task a satellite to get imagery of a facility during a certain time. So let's just pick this facility here. It's in New Mexico. I can have all the information about it. And I actually want to task a satellite to observe. Okay, here are the best satellites. We'll pick this and we'll hit create observation task. So this actually creates the observation task back in the ontology and can push that to the satellite provider to get that imagery for us. So very cool that I can go do that. Now, in the last time that I did this here was about 30 to 40 minutes of prompting against the Ontology SDK to get this to work. Of course, I would want to clean this up and have other things, but the idea is I can move very quickly. In parallel, this is what I had done before, right? In comparison, like this took me a day or two, I'm not a front-end developer, to go create an application that allows me to go task satellites, do all this kind of stuff. I can move at orders of magnitude quicker. So it's like I have junior developers kind of giving me the bones and I can go build out the rest of what I want. So this is the whole idea is there's an accelerant for my development process, but I still have the governance, authentication, security of the ontology to be able to go do this that quickly.